We just booked a water taxi to Kachemak Bay State Park to do something we have never done before. And no, it is not a tour. It's an overnight backpacking trip and we are so excited. We're bringing the dogs. They've never slept in a tent. I've never slept in a tent. Growing up, Ashley went tent camping all the time. And we're so excited to see how this goes. The last few weeks, we've been secretly collecting things off Facebook Marketplace and Amazon to get our gear up to par for our backpacking trip. And we're so excited to see how this goes. Let's show you what we got. Since this is our first backpacking trip, we did a ton of research and looked at other people's lists of what they bring backpacking. So of course we have our backpacks. These are just our regular bags that we use when we're hiking during the day. And then we also have our sleeping bags. We have silk bags, which are like the wearable sleeping bags. We got a sleeping bag for the dogs. We have our first aid, their first aid, bear spray, water filtration, blow up pillows, dry bags, food, tent, everything that we think that you know you would need for backpacking for one night it is not a long trail so honestly we probably are doing a little bit of overkill but we just want to make sure that we have everything and that we're fully prepared for any situation and if you want a little bit more of a breakdown or if you want to buy any of this stuff for yourself we're going to link it in our amazon storefront which will be in the description but now the fun part is getting it all to fit in our packs we're taking the tent out of the bag because we've done plenty of research that basically shows we should be packing our tent at the bottom of the bag we have a pretty big three-person tent because we have the dogs with us. So I think I'm going to put the tent at the bottom of my bag. Actually, that looks much smaller than in the, in the actual bag because you can separate it. Our bags are all packed. I made us some chicken rice bowls, so we're gonna eat these and then we'll get ready to head over to the taxi. As much as we hike, surprisingly, I never carry a backpack. The biggest thing I carry is like a camel back, so I have my water with me. But other than that, Grayson pretty much carries all of the stuff that we need for day trips, which is usually just like our camera gear, food, water, a couple extra things. But for a hike like this, I'm gonna be having my own bag and I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how much it weighs or anything like that, but I think it should be fine. We're making our way down to the boat now. These dogs have never been on a real boat before. They've been on a kayak and like a paddleboard type situation. So we're excited to see how they react to being on a water taxi. We just got dropped off by the boat and the trailhead is literally right here. We start on our trail, officially our first backpacking journey. And this is a little bit different than other backpacking situations because no one is coming back to get us until tomorrow. If you've been watching our videos, you would know that our dogs are getting torn up by the mosquitoes every time we take them out to hike. And so we decided to get Vets Best, which is not sponsored. We just saw that this is the best stuff to get to repel mosquitoes for them and it's safe for them. So let's put that on before we start hiking.
We've officially started hiking. I think it's a perfect time to talk about how long the water taxi was. It was only 30 minutes, though we wish it was longer. You can see so many seals on your way over and it was such a clear day. It was a perfect boat ride to start this backpacking trip. Before coming here, we knew that we were hiking in bear country, but the second we got on this trail, there were signs saying that there is bear in area. There's a bear box right at the beginning. And so, I don't know, we might be seeing a bear today. We've seen tons of bears while we're driving, but never once on a trail. And on one hand, I want to see one because I think it'd be really cool. But on the other hand, I don't really want to see a bear too close. So I guess we'll see what happens, but we're definitely going to be very, very aware during this hike. It's so quiet and peaceful here. You can just hear the birds and everything around you. I don't think there's anyone else here today, or maybe there is, but we haven't seen anyone. Our trip to camp today is around three miles from Glacier Spit to Gurink Lake, but we're doing a little side trip to something we have never seen or done before, but we're so excited for it and it adds on two miles. So our total trip for the day is five miles and we're three quarters of a mile in and we just saw bear poop. There's no bears. No bears. No bears, no, no bears. No bear. <laughs> no. We just approached the map, so we're gonna give you a little bit better of an idea of where we came from, where we're camping, and where our detour is. We got dropped off right here, and we've walked all the way to here, and where we're camping is over here at the lake, but from here, we're gonna be taking this detour to come over here, and there's actually a hand tram that we're gonna go across. Then we'll come back and make our way back to camp for the night. fourth pile of bear scat which kind of makes you feel a little bit uneasy especially when it's super fresh a couple of the piles look fresh a couple of them not so fresh but it just makes you realize yeah they're around us not too far but we are getting close to the hand tram now right when I told you that we just saw four different piles of bear scat we just saw a fifth one and it was very fresh like 100% from today and maybe within the last couple hours and now we keep thinking that we're hearing things we've just been being loud and doing everything we can to make sure that a bear knows that we're here all aboard what do you guys think Braden look he's like I am he not gonna not move. know what to think okay here we go you gotta stay in I was not expecting that to be as much of a workout as it was. It rolled out really nicely, but once you got to the middle, pulling yourself to the other side, and then rolling down was easy, and then pulling yourself back, man, that was a workout. <laughs> Let's make it to camp for the night. Here, there's the campsite. We're half a mile away. Right behind me, you can see Gruink Glacier. We've been able to see it since we've been on this trail, but as we're getting closer, we can see it more and more, and we're just super excited to get to the lake and have a beautiful view of it. Now that we have our mosquito coil lit, we're hoping this keeps the mosquitoes away while we set up camp for the night, but we're gonna have a snack first. We have wraps with peanut butter, but this view, couldn't ask for anything better. 
and it's just so crazy that we're sleeping right in front of it tonight. Now that we've had our snack, the next thing I want to do is change out of my hiking boots and put my chacos on because I don't like to stay in my hiking boots any longer than I have to and then we're going to set up the tent. Much better. from experience because I've set up so many tents one other one in my entire life this was so complicated and we are missing a few pieces so we had to make do with like a rock as a stake on a couple parts but it's all up we're gonna get our pads in there or as I like to call our cardboard we're gonna get that inside and show you our MTV cribs little setup and then we're gonna make dinner we've got our beds out now we're gonna blow up our pillows Look at that pillow. We bought the dogs their own little sleeping bag. And so I really only think it's actually kind of big. I only think Brandon's gonna sleep in here. I doubt Oreo does because he likes to cut all close to Ashley, but we'll see because it is a little chilly tonight. Come inside our home. So right inside we have our wearable sleeping bags with our sleeping pads and our blow up pillows. And then we got the dog's little sleeping bag. Time for dinner, we opted for ramen and tuna packs over those backpacking meals. So these meals are a total of about $3 opposed to nine. And we're very excited to have ramen because it's been a while. We purposely picked a spot that had a bear box so we didn't have to bring our own bear can and now that we're finished cooking and we're getting ready to wind down for the night, we're bringing all of our food over there and it's actually just right there. We picked one of the closest sites to it. Good morning. We slept very interestingly to say the least. <laughs> the water kept crashing into the shore and so we weren't sure if that was like an animal walking in the gravel and then sleeping on the thin ultralight backpacking mats was definitely a different change from sleeping in our nice <laughs> camper bed because we actually just got a new topper. It is so comfortable. And then the dogs kept mo moving and making little noises against the tent, like. <laughs> and so I'm going, what is that? So 
Ashley was in and out of sleep until about two, and I didn't sleep at all till about three. But she was sleeping so lightly and then would wake up and I'd be like, I'm not sleeping. She's like, I'm hardly sleeping. <laughs> and so we eventually fell asleep from about three to around eight. And once I slept, I can say I'm a lot more rested than I thought I was gonna be because I thought I was going down a path of not getting any sleep. So I'm glad I got some sleep, getting some caffeine in us. We're gonna make breakfast and just enjoy because the taxi is not coming back till 1.30 to get us. So we'll leave our site around 12. Yeah, but the dogs did really, really well. We were nervous when we first put them in the tent. They seemed a little bit hesitant, but as soon as Grayson and I were in here, they were fine and they pretty much slept all night and they're still in and out of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> This is ready. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call. Safe to say we booked a water taxi for the right time because it is getting so busy. It's around 12 p.m. and no one was here until around 9.30 a.m. So it was nice to just have the entire morning to just unwind, have the place to ourselves, and enjoy the beautiful view. We're making our way to the tram now and it's super sunny and just another beautiful day here in Alaska. The boat ride back was so choppy and completely different than yesterday's ride there. It was choppy and foggy today where yesterday was so smooth and beautiful and clear. But forget about all that, we had such a great experience and we had so much fun backpacking and hiking in Alaska's first state park. The dog did so good for their first backpacking trip and this will not be our last. This is just the tip of the iceberg and we're so excited for the many more adventures that we go on as a family backpacking, but also in Alaska. So if you wanna see them, make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.